this lesson that we're going to do today is one way to do a descriptive writing type of lesson with, um, this is a second grade class. Um, I have done different kinds of things before. One thing I'll do sometimes is to have them create something first. And one time I had students do a character. And sometimes I'll have them do something like a never before seen insect. This time my class was told yesterday that somebody went walking through a forest and came upon a never before seen plant before. So this is a two part lesson. The first day you would have your students create something. You can relate it to your curriculum. Um, if you're studying going to animals, you can have them create some type of never before seen animal. So my class, because we've been studying plants lately, were told to create a never before seen plant. So yesterday, all students created a never before seen plant. That has that looks amazing and that is amazing. Boys and girls, can you hold up your plant, please, for Mr. Okay. Bedwear? I didn't really give them any restrictions. I provided art materials, and everybody created their own amazing plant that has never been discovered yet. All right, put your plants down. All right. So that's the first part of it. I think it's really important to have them be involved in creating something for themselves first. Okay, today we are going to have our chance to tell the world about our plants because people don't know about your amazing never before seen plant yet. So you are gonna pretend like somebody is asking you to send them some information about your plant. Pretend that someone is saying to you, boys and girls, I need to know what did you discover? So if you were going to describe your plant, to somebody, what kinds of things do you think you should include about your plant? What kinds of things should you tell about your plant? Lucky. Their name. Okay, the name of your plant. It's probably something that nobody's ever heard of. So you're going to want to describe the name of your plant if it has one. What else? Riley. The colors. The colors of your plant. Are you just going to say, of this is to have them after they finish creating the plants and creating their descriptions you, you can as a teacher you can collect the descriptions and you can the next day put up all of their plants on a wall like on a bulletin board and then you can have each student come up and read their description and then try to have the, the students match their description to the plant and we've done that with characters before too that's really fun because they try to listen and pay attention to what the, no, matching the details to the character.